Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Dead End here in City Skylines. Where last episode guys, we expanded Lost Wages just a little bit more by adding our very own tram lines and monorail lines as well. We finally got public transport in there to now start taking the peeps to and from work, to and from losing all their wages. I mean, it's a reason it's called Lost Wages right now. But today, guys, I want to continue the expansions. I want to get a little stream built on the edge of Lost Wages because we've got like a little bit of a dead area that I'm not... I don't really have much... I, well, I can't really do much with it because of the elevation change of it. It's like a, a dead little ditch. So I thought, you know what? We'll throw out a beautiful, beautiful little stream over there. And also, I want to take a look at hopefully getting that train line, as you can see right now, that we added in. Actually hooked up and working so we can actually transport people from Lost Wages to other towns and cities because at the minute they can only transport themselves within Lost Wages. So guys, if you have been enjoying this series so far, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But bam, we are back. And this is what we kind of got set up last episode. If I take a look at the public transport, the pink line, the purple line. We also got in um the train line here which all it's doing is bringing in trains from out of the region that's all it's pretty much doing right now we don't have this train line hooked up to any of the other cities and right now we have no public transport bringing people in and out of las wages to the other towns within Denden. and that's what i want to get uh, set up today so we can continue the expansions in general anyway and just let them all kind of build up. I know there's a few little kind of stops and starts and traffic issues here and there within Lost Wages. But I don't want to sort them out just yet. I want to give them time to kind of get a little bit more complex because the town's still growing. People are still slowly moving in. So it's like I don't want to adjust it just yet until I fully see what the issue is. Because like I could fix all these junctions and then when everyone moves in, the traffic could be like over here. So it's like, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's really, it's just one of those things. And also, it could all change as well when I get the public transport, the ability to kind of send them to different towns as well. But we'll kind of see how it goes. Now, before we take a look at the uh, the train line, I'm going to take a look at this. So after the casinos, you have this little bit of a ditch here. And uh, it's quite awkward to then kind of build from this and over because the casinos all kind of stop. Um, we then come up to a big mountain. So I thought, you know what? Why don't we create like a little spring, like how we've got over here? little spring that pops up there trickles down the hill maybe goes down here around and then falls into uh the little river we got over here i thought it'd be a, quite a nice little feature <clears throat> and then if, when we kind of it continues to expand the city over this way we have a natural point where we can end it on the kind of like the river bank or the stream bank in many ways so whatever i build there is going to have high land value because they're overlooking running water and it's going to be beautiful but like most things <clears throat> It's water. We might have some issues trying to get this all in. So this is going to be fun. Try to create something here. So I can already see we have a natural little basin just there. And I want it to kind of treacle all the way down. But it gets to here, it's quite wide. So we have to kind of now naturally build some type of a little stream. I'm going to get it to run quite parallel to the mountain region just here. So we'll see what we can kind of get up to right now. It's going to be really, really interesting. So brush size then, make it kind of slightly big. And if I kind of pick here, because we're going to like do um, where the land kind of drops down in sections. But if we kind of like just bring this in to kind of run at the same angle as the uh, where the river goes. And if I just kind of roughly build a layout for this stream. And then we'll just roll with it. I'll smooth it all off anyway and do that, do that kind of jazz, all that kind of stuff. But um, now this is the interesting one as well, is trying to make the slope happen. So what we do is we kind of pick, say, midway, and then dig that in to there. Pick down to here, come down to there. You kind of have to do it in stages to kind of get it to work. And then we have to kind of pick it from the inside. So just do it in small little stages, kind of dense it all in, and then we'll kind of like use the smoothing tool to kind of create something a little bit different. And then I think what we'll do here is we'll kind of bring it quite wide as we create like a small little kind of basin in a way before we then drop it all down. But obviously I've got to raise it 
because we, we we gotta make the staggeredness because i've seen one we are going downhill but we want to create the flow for the water to move obviously that's gonna be really really important so right to this point here which is two five two here is say so this is naturally lower which is really good so and then here is so it doesn't really change much from that point to over here so whatever i do going all the way up right now is pretty much going to be borderline the same same level so if i run that down to here so once i got like a rough sketch we can work the rest of it all out right down to here which again we'll create a small little basin just there so once you get the water on, you won't really tell the huge dips as much anymore. So if I first run what would be where the water currently is, and then if I select at this height to run that in, and naturally we get to this point where it can then pretty much kind of spill out in any direction. So I'll bring that in just to there. Right, there we go. We have a rough sketch of how we're going to have this small little lake run. And um, it's going to be fairly interesting to see how it kind of copes. So I want to create naturalness. So as it will come down here, it's like it kind of bends around and slopes down. It will kind of do the same thing over here. So you kind of want to create like a wider turn for it. Because as the water comes down, it's going to splash up the edges and continue. And then off it goes. So without doing too much right now, that's very, very basic. I think what we'll do, we'll let the water run down very slowly. And then that's when we're going to start smoothing the edges. Let me just pause for a second. And pull it about there. So by doing that, you can see where it would kind of overspill. But I'm hoping the flow is not too ridiculous to begin with. Um, for it to kind of go a little bit crazy. It might not even be a fast flowing river. It might be fast flowing as we get to the end, but we'll see what happens. I feel like we need to make this slightly a little bit bigger. Maybe some of these areas slightly a little bit wider. But we'll see how it plays out. That's the only thing that we can pretty much do right now. So we'll have a little fast forward. We'll let the water have a, a slight little moment right now as it figures out what it, what it can and can't do. And then all the water should slowly start flowing. So we have like a little bit of a land mass just there, don't we? So we should smoothen that out. There we go. Let's give it a little bit more freedom to work with. So I don't want it perfect. I want rough edges. I want rough drops like this and stuff like that because it really adds a little bit of character to our water flow. You really then get the effect, uh, the effect that it's cascading down the, the mountain region in many ways. It's kind of, you know, what we want. So it'd be pretty cool to kind of see. Obviously, there is bigger drops as it goes down. Like this one's a little bit ridiculous. But because it drops so much, that's why we made it so narrow. So we can ultimately um, kind of uh, pull it all together. So I give that a minute or two then to kind of tear through. We still have our naturally built um, car wash right now. That's still here, guys. That's legit still here right now. I have no idea what's going down. Now, it is quite deep down here. Well, I could, I could put like another water source there if it becomes a bit of an issue. And, um, yeah. I think I'm going to leave this as it is. Because we can see like a nice big waterfall drop going down. But this will take a while then to kind of continually flow through and to find a nice little balance. It might be a case of over time we slightly raise uh, the water from here to create more flow. But again, like I said, just give it a little bit of time. We'll see what happens. So, anyway... Well, that does what it's got to do then. Train line. Now, right now, we have the train line connected to over here. Now, this train line has no um, passenger lines connected up as you enter. It's all cargo lines. What I could do is make something that kind of comes up here, goes underground to connect to there to go to the Tumbleweed station. But do I want the main stop for Lost Way just to go to Tumbleweed? I mean, it would be nice to have a stop go that way, but... We still need a more direct route for something like over in Drought, or to get over to Flood. Um, they got some issues over here, some garbage issues right now. Yikes. But I don't want to focus on that too much just yet. I want to focus on the trains. So it would be nice to kind of get something maybe running up here to run down parallel, because we have the station over here, which only at the minute we're utilizing three stops. So the fourth one 
could be going down to lost wages. But how would I incorporate and add that in? Well, we do have two lines here. So one going that way could go to tumbleweed in this second one. But we're coming quite to the edge of here. Now, we do have a little bit of a gap behind. So what I could do is if I say I got rid of this road and then extended this road further down and maybe it connected, I don't know, something like that. I can then make it go underground behind this casino hotel place here. It goes all underground and then maybe pops back up over here and then follows it all the way up to connect down to there. See, that could be a thing. That could low-key be a thing. Now, while we wait, it's now slowly starting to cascade down, which is all good. It's kind of settled all up here right now as the water flow continues, which is pretty sweet. And then once it's all kind of um, finalized, then we'll go on to smoothen the edges or raise the water flow, you know, needs be. Needs be. Bye. So this is looking good. Anyway, I'm going to leave it because it, obviously it takes a while. So let's try that then. Let's try that. So if I deleted this. Oh, which means deleting that building. And then got the train line, which would be this one. Now, if I kind of got one in the central section. There we go. And then brought it by 20, but then dropped it down by 14. Why not? And then just simply do a connection like that. And off we go. Like, seriously, we have... It might be a little bit loud for these guests, but it's all part of the fun of it, right? Seeing the passenger lines arise from the ground. Now... It does minimalize the amount of vehicles that can then use this junction because there's only three ways that they can turn instead of four. Obviously, we've got a lot of traffic right now, but that is down to the fact that we are we have a huge residential demand with people moving in. <clears throat> now, the same thing here. We're dropping down quite a bit there. So, in what way do I then finalize this road? Where does it all come together is the question. So, let me see if I can kind of mess around with something here. See, now, I could elevate it up, but then is the elevation too much? Maybe. Is it the fact that it's... I mean, how far are we going out? That is a, a 14. So what if I did like a 14 by 14 bend? I mean, it could work, but the elevation is just not enough. It could work to there. Let me see what a 6 does. So I've gone over by 10. Yeah, that's definitely not enough to kind of drop down. It's really awkward when you're kind of building it so close. It really is. So now we've created this little crisscross that was we're now all forcing all vehicles to kind of go down this road. Oh, I'm not too sure how I'm going to kind of complete that line. It's an awkward one, isn't it? It really is. But what I can do anyway is for the train line. So let's say I connected it to there and then that went to here. Right, these aren't perfect, but just hold on. It kind of allows me to... Oh, that's kind of awkward, isn't it? And that all drops down very intense it's because of how staggered it all is but I'm not liking how it's now put like a little um, a node just there oh come on you had you had the, your moment then to place it here I right, push that further in so it allows us to kind of continually connect to go anywhere we pretty much want to go. So anyway, right, I could drag the node here. To have the elevation change a bit more. But we're not really getting much out of it. It is what it is, I suppose. It is what it is. But yeah, that road... Uh, it's going to annoy me that we can't get it. I mean, I could get the road connecting across, but it would cause traffic issues in the long run. Hmm. Right, hold on. How is the wall? Oh, my goodness me. 
The water is overflowing, boys. It is overflowing right now. So we need to kind of widen that little section. It is now reaching down to here. So how does the uh, the overspill happen? Does it do it in stages? Um, right, okay. So if I kind of widen the mouth of it. I'm going to push it into the mountain a bit more. There we go. Slightly widen it a little bit more. And then give it a little bit of time to then kind of settle. But yeah. That's going to really annoy me, this whole section. Like it really is. I mean, I could elevate it, but it's not going to look that good. This whole system here looks shocking. They're all tilted. I think it looks more shocking because of how all the land is working out. So if I kind of smoothened it all out. Or even kind of made that... Oh. Wrong one. All right, widen all this here. Smoothen. You know, it then kind of looks semi-normal. That road, I have no no idea what to do with it. So I could continue to bring it down. I could have a little connection just there, but then... Damn! It gets way too difficult for me at this point. So I could make this from there go underground to kind of create a connection just here but how many know how, how what? Oh, that's only 20 away so i could do a connection there so i deleted this i mean i don't know how i'm i'm literally going to do this kind of system but if i did that and did a 10 by 10 I can create a nice little kind of creation just there on the end of it where I maximize the whole zoning of that corner. Get to keep this in. Obviously, only if I can make this go in the ground here. So by 10. Oh, I did the wrong one. I meant to tunnel it. There we go. Should I bend it instead? So it goes under there. We get to keep in that long drag straight. But also, most importantly, I don't know if you can actually do it from this side, but I'll throw in a little path anyway. To be able to... Okay, let me get to normal height. To be able to connect to that. I don't know if that is going to be a thing. If it is even possible. But it allows you then to have the two lines connected. And it means then. By doing this little kind of connection both sides. Uh, one I can have two trains maybe approach a station. But if I extend this going down and connect it up. It means you can have intercity trains coming into. A bunch of all the stations around as well. Which is going to be really exciting. Or I just kind of, kind of completely kill it off. I don't know. I don't know just yet. It's a bit of a tough one. Unless. Because I do like the idea of having that connection in. So what if I did that goes that way? That goes that way. So an intercity train couldn't continue to go on. It has to stop here. But visually, it kind of looks a little bit nicer. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But at least I got a connection there now. Are they able to walk in, in, in here? Yes, they can use that to utilize it to get to that train. So yes, perfect, wonderful, amazing. So I could build a bus depot just here. Ooh. Right, how is the water looking right now? It's still quite jagged, edgy. In areas. But this is not too bad. Right, we'll do some uh, terraforming right now. Let me pause them. So I'll first do the edges of the mountain. On this side. Down to there. There we go. Not 
too shabby. And then this side. So you've got to be a little bit careful now because it's getting quite close to the road. But it integrates the road as being part of the edge of it now as well. So doing that side here is going to probably cause a lot of flooding. But I'm doing smaller smoothing on this side than the other side. So it doesn't create too much of an overspill on that one side right now. So pushing this all the way down. There we go. And then just kind of smoothing off, you know, each of the drops. So it really does then go on to narrow the cascade. So I'll give it a minute to kind of work itself out. So it probably will end up overspilling just here. But I'm hoping that as it all kind of settles down, we should be okay. It might be that I need to widen it. But just give it a minute to kind of figure out what the hell is now going down. Alright, let's move in that bit. See what we can come up with. But I can see this overflowing just here. Without a shadow of a doubt. Which is probably why I need to make it a little bit stronger. I mean, it's, it's pretty strong anyway, but... Let me pause. Just kind of... Tribbed those edges a bit more. So, yeah. Again, probably going to cause a lot of flooding now, but we'll give it time, guys. We'll give it a little bit of time. And I think we just need to kind of trim this edge here because it's not quite going up to the where I want it to go. Yeah. All right, it's not a bad little stream. It's not a bad little stream. It'll be nice to kind of work with it as time goes on. It's a bit like this one over here. And we get to add stuff. We need to add like uh, more greenery to it and vegetation. But as, once you get the flow consistently going pretty sweet, then the rest should be easy. Right, let's get this train line all underway then. So, trains, turn on. So from this point then, I'm bringing it all the way down in a straight line. So that allows us to continually extend, and then we'll utilize. Well, we'll, we'll then start by building it further up, and then get it all connected. So my options are: when we get up to this side, do I cross over to try and get over to unconnected to here, or do I get it to run its own parallel line going down? Two lines either side of the highway. That's interesting. And then once we get to this part here, if I then make it go underground by ten. Bringing it directly all the way across. I can keep it underground now at this point. Because then I want it to kind of connect to this one here. Because we're utilizing all the other ones. So I get it connected there. You can't really tell. Sweet. So i got to run this all the way down. Down to here. Now, I did want to get this connected up to some kind of a roundabout, didn't I? Which would lead into there. So that is also going to kind of hinder how I build the rest of the railway. So I've kind of got to find a nice little flat section. So back to the terrain right now, which I think my best bet is going to be literally here. So if I try and select you, and it's not going to be perfect, but try and get some kind of an area that is semi-flat. Because it goes back downhill here. And then create a... I'm underground still. Oh, hold on. Wrong way. Create a little point that sticks out. Just solely so I can then go on to build a roundabout. Now a 40, we'll go for a 60. Free lane 60. Uh, free lane, free lane, free lane highway. And... Bam! We throw it down. Which means these guys have to then go around, which I will add in all the slip roads and whatnot. But I want a road to come off here to kind of go the long way around to get to this industrial area. 
So hopefully it you know, el eliminates a little bit more of the people using the roundabout and allows that traffic to flow a little bit smoother. So we'll use an industrial road as well because I don't want to use a, like a, a national road in that sense because I know how much they might decide to start using it. So then they don't start using the... Uh, the normal highway. So it, it's basically to reduce the speed limit in many ways. So that will get to there. And on the other side then we'll have a normal a normal one. So if I do it about here and then do a six by six bend there and that will then what's connected up to that road over here. So it causes a lot of issues with these guys slowing down right now. So if I just quickly pause, delete, delete, and let me see what I can get all set up. So, by keeping it... Oh, let me get rid of these power lines first. So, keeping it super simple. We'll do a... Road to there. Road to there. Like I said, again, keeping it super simple. There's no need for me to overcomplicate all this. And then we have a little bit of a node here, so if I kind of bend that out. Bend it into where it's acceptable. And that does drop down quite a bit there, doesn't it? Let me bring that up. There we go. So it's not perfect, but it should do the job. Same thing on here, just kind of slightly bring these nodes in. There we go. Just slightly bow them out. So we've got more of a little, kind of little angle. That drops down considerably as well. So let's bring that up. Well, they all do. They all drop down quite considerably. So if I select you, select you, select you. Try and get some type of a little bit of a slope going on. And then just sort out the, the clipping just here. So what you can do is you can kind of bring like that in in, in a way. We'll bow that out to then bow this one like that to kind of get your, your nice little run. But it ain't perfect. I will tell you that now. It's not perfect, but this should make it a little bit easier and interesting. Worst case scenario, I have to create like a complete overpass going over. Now, because I've got all that set up right now, we'll give it a minute to kind of sort it all out. But I also want to then create a little slip road for this side. And again, the same for this side. So we might be able to get away with a little bit more of a bend on these ones. Now I don't know how much these roads are going to be utilized or used. So I don't really know the type of demand that's kind of needed for these. So while all the vehicles go crazy and sort themselves out right now, we'll add in all the uh, the giveaway signs and stuff on the actual roundabout itself. Jump from restrictions here. We'll make sure that everybody can fly through. There we go. And of course, the lane management when it comes to this, everyone goes straight. So no one's really getting too confused and making harsh turns here and there. But yeah, it should work out. It, it, it should do exactly what it needs to do. And I know I've just paused it, which I've probably just killed off a load of power everywhere. Or have I? I mean, the power connects down to there. Hmm, seems a bit too sus to me if you ask me, guys. Right, right, we'll get this all connected back in. There we go. So back in business then. We'll quickly run this all the way up and just kind of finalize this road for now. Uh, I'll probably eventually change it in the long run, but if I just get it all added in, I can then start to see where demands kind of fall into play. So where do I want it to get it connected then? Do I get it connected to, say, this road here because it's part of the main drag going through? Or do I off-stagger them where... This road here is for that entry point, and maybe this road here is for this entry point, or coming off this. I think I'll utilize this one. So if I went for like a 10 by 10 bend there, and then brought that down to, let's say, 15. How far are we off this here from connecting? 7. Well, let me see if I can get this myself. That's an 8. 
7 by 7 and then straight in. So that's simply all it's going to do. Now, granted, vehicles coming up here are all going to start using this because it's a lot easier to get into this area than going all the way down to there. But this is pro predominantly people coming from this direction or maybe even people coming from over here, going around to get into here. Which, that's then going to be a really, really heavily used road, which I don't think I like the idea of that too much. The speed limit in it is on it is a 40 right now, so if I drop it down to a 30, not really going to make much of a difference. But when you got a speed limit over here of, um, what is the speed limit over here, of 90, it's a big difference. Because my problem is it's going to slow down all the traffic coming in this way, but we'll see. We'll ultimately see how it goes. I don't know how much demand we're going to have on it. But we'll get this road over here now connected. And then when we start to see problems arise from it is when we'll go on to fix it. So where's the snap on that? So that snaps like that. So if I brought that to here, I'm then going to get it connected down to there. So we're going to have the road kind of slightly follow us around. Nice little 20 by 20 just there to connect these guys straight in. Now what this does on this side then is allow us now to have a connection directly over the dam all the way down to the prison or even potentially drive to flood. But it's just a long-winded route. I don't know how many people will go on to use it, but we might have see the first vehicles driving over the dam, which is going to be really exciting. So if this is the, the amount of traffic that's going to use this road, then I don't mind it too much. I probably will have to build like a little straight overpass over here at some point, but we'll leave it for now. But yeah, this is interesting. Really interesting. There's a few vehicles driving down here right now. I wonder if any of them are going to go straight down to there, especially the ones coming out of the prison. Nah, I don't think we're ready just yet. Right, I think we're now then. Let me just check the water flow. Okay, not too bad. I think we're pretty much now ready. Uh, to get the, the train line all connected up. Yeah, I think we're ready. So it goes up to here then, and we're going to kind of pop it up at some point here and make it run all the way up. So if I start here, I'll make it go underground at this point, just there. So if I choose, for example, let me bring this down to there. At this point here to run to there, and then by this point of 20, it's already, let's say, minus 20, on, let me pause it, minus 20 on the ground. And then we pretty much want it to run like that. So bring it to there. And we just, just generically pop up just here. So you, you get that little bit of a strip where you get to see the train line. But it goes on the ground just there as the hill rises. So it looks a little bit more natural. And then we can then officially run this all the way down to where we want it to pop out. So where do we actually want it to pop out over here? Then that's going to be another interesting one. So do I make it go a little bit further so I can get to utilize? Do you know what? I'm going to make it go underground quite a bit. Or do I do one last stop over on this side? Maybe I can end a little stop just here. Right, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, let me try that. Let me try that right now. So get back uh, above ground. We're going to utilize a normal style road right now. And what we'll do, we'll come... All right, so let's say that's the point just here. Actually, do you know what? I'll run it parallel with this road. So what was that going across? That was 38. Let me try that again. Okay, it's going to be slightly off-centered then, but that's fine. But the most important thing is... I've got it parallel with the grid. This road coming that way, rather than slightly off-centered. So that is 4. So today will be a 12. 
So if I then just run, like I've done in the past, a little connection like this. I could have one last stop at the opposite end of Lost Wages uh, as a train stop as it continues up in that direction. Rather than having one stop there than all the way over here, because it, it seems really long-winded to go that far. It just gives us that last, that last ditch attempt, that last ability to kind of set something up. So that is a full uh, 14. So another 6 creates the 20. And if I do a 10 by 10. Now if I was to build a train station down, I've got a bunch of different options, but if I just went something really basic like that. But what I'll do is we'll get this little side road. We'll do a 5 by 5 going up like this. And then build it just here. So as we come into the end of the sprawl of Lost Wages, we, it kind of goes really, really, not rural, but you can kind of see how it then starts to change. So with that said, back into underground mode, I can then keep this going to a certain extent. And so if I brought that round to here, 18 by 18. And then got it to rise just there. So if I just kind of quickly sort out the elevation changes of this. Because it's quite... Um... And there we go. And then maybe bring this one down slightly. There we go. So that could be our final stop just here. Because remember, all this here, and even down onto this ledge... We're going to be building upon it. So eventually this will be surrounded by buildings. So it allows me to have that, la that, that one last ditch attempt. That one on the outskirts public transportation stop. That allows me then to, to pretty much progress going all the way up. So if I kind of bend it to follow the curvature going up. Like that. So it follows it all the way going up right now, which is not too ridiculous. It actually looks pretty good. And then press play. We are then all intertwined and connected for this train line to run all the way up and through. Really exciting. Very exciting to uh, say the least. Look at the traffic jam coming up. It shows you that I need the overpass, but again, I won't do it just yet, just until... More things are rock and rolling. Because you don't know how much of this train line it's going to take away. So if I have a train stop just here then. Which then we have a train stop just here. And then the long-winded one all the way down to here. Which goes into the fourth section. And then we'll bring it back to here. As we add another stop. And then end the line just there to complete it. So a beautiful line right now. And what that has now officially done is connected lost wages... All the way up to drought. And by connecting to drought, it uses this as the central hub to then connect it to flood, to oxbrook, to tumbleweed, even all the way down to the industrial area too. So it's all in Stoin connected. There's some bus routes going to some of the other train stops to get you in other places. So that's really helped us out. Now I could add in a, a line to tumbleweed. But I think I'll just keep it to uh, to drought for now and just kind of see what happens. Because I don't know how much we're going to be able to utilize all of it. So let me just extend this to give it a little bit of uh, water. I'll bring this up right now just to kind of give it the initial power. I don't know how many people are going to use it. But there goes a train right now on the way up. But see the amount of vehicles heading up this highway right now? I wonder how many of those people are going straight to drought who would now start using... Um, the public transportation system. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. But yeah, I don't want to play around with this just yet because I just want to see where we initially kind of fall down with the traffic. But things are looking pretty good. We've got a nice little river flow going in, which I'll smooth in this little edge off just here. So I bring that right down. There we go. So it all falls in very nicely which bulks up the amount of water flow flowing through here. Uh, I want to add a little bit more vegetation to this then to make it look pretty decent. And how I did that, I believe it was with um, 
this, wasn't it? You kind of place down like a little bit of green. Like if I drop the brush strength and kind of up it to make it look like there's actual vegetation going on. It's like what we did, I did around all this. It's kind of, you add in farming land. So where there's water, there's like life in a sense. Don't go too crazy. And then what I did then, like on this one, was to make it kind of a little bit more patchy. You kind of paint down a little bit of oil. So in this area where I don't want it, you know, entirely green. A little bit of oil to make it patchy. It, it kind of looks like we got like a little bit of vegetation, a little bit of growth going around the water where it meets the desert. So it kind of looks like a little bit more natural. I mean, not really, but like it looks a little bit more natural than it did in the first place. So, yeah, interesting. People are already stopping at this train station right now. There's only 11 people using it. Interesting. A very interesting. But yeah, it's going to bring a lot of people over to here right now. As it becomes like a big central hub of getting peeps transport. Look at that. Look how many people are waiting on this line already for that train to come. I want to see that arrive right now. We might need more trains on these lines. I might need to do a line review at some point to see what's going down with these train lines. So here comes the train. It's got 240 people on board, but look how many people are still standing there. So yeah, we're going to have to do a train line review at some point, guys. And ultimately just kind of go through what we've got all done. But we've kind of intertwined and connected everything up a little bit more. Uh, is there any vehicles using this road yet? Now, my main thought process from building all this is I wanted to make sure that the highway route was the quickest route. And I think we can safely say that because nobody wants to come down this road. <laughs> but then again, it's not really going to anywhere. I wonder if, right, I wonder if, if you wanted to get to Lost Wages from the prison, I wonder if they choose, if this route going all the way up and round and down is quicker than actually just driving up this. I wonder if that is the case. Now, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be really interesting. Right, now we've got a ton of demands coming back in. We're going to slowly start to add more residential in as well. So, drop it in where I can. Fill it all up over the residential. So, a nice little bit of shopping by that commercial area. Um, we got this little spot just over here. I'm going to do that with residential as well. And then we'll start filling this section up too. So all residential, apart from a small bit of commercial, I'll drop in. And we'll drop the commercial in just here. Now this is all high density commercial I can throw in. There we go. And we'll throw in a couple of trees as well to kind of bulk it all up. So those beautiful little palm trees, boys. Beautiful palm trees that we have to hand. So we do it on the uh, the entrance just here. As they walk in. Just do a couple around here. And where does the zoning take place? Okay, so we've got a decent movement right now of dropping in trees. <laughs> Just add a little, try and add as much greenery as possible is what I'm trying to do. Add in some trees just here. And then we'll do the uh, plants underneath. There we go. Some say that I go over the top on this, but I really like it. Nice. Anyway, a lot of stuff I didn't right there. So with all these residential that are now thrown in, you can see how calm the traffic is. So we'll then start to see a lot more people then moving into the region. But I wonder if they'll then start coming via train as we got all that stuff up and running. 
I'm not too sure, but we're making enough money right now to slowly start turning on some more buildings. So casino hotel here, how much do you cost? 800? How much do you cost? The Rio Grande, 1,500. Okay, turn you off. You're a bit too expensive right now. This building, the, the, the Venetian. Wow, it's free. Uh, this one over here, it's free. This one, 32 cents. Wow, and these are pretty cheap, aren't they? Yeah, turn all the swimming pools back on. So there's only a few more buildings here and there that I'm yet to turn on. How much is this one? 4,000. Yep, you can stay turned off. Uh, the pink casino, 4,000. Yep, you can stay turned off as well. But we're slowly getting there, guys. Slowly getting there in terms of uh, making that sweet cash. How have we all of a sudden jumped up to 40,000 that we're now making? Where's that money come from? I can't quite figure it out. Is it the industrial side? Oh, wow, okay, we've made a, a 20 grand profit recently on the exports. That's where a big jump could have just come in. Holy moly, are you guys okay over here? Is it, is it that car wash that I built? No idea. No idea right now. Is it one of these buildings I've turned on? No, the, the, okay, the profit's now dropping. I think it was just, it's just seasonal. <laughs> seasonal revenue. But look at how nice it's all now all coming together. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? I mean, we still got so much more work to do, so much more work to get in and get added. Uh, we'll slowly start adding some more roads in. So we've got this road here that can kind of tear up. Bam. Bam. So it does stop here. I'm hoping it doesn't mess up my, uh, my tram stops too much. And then we'll lead this all the way down. Is it really going to mess up my tram stops? What, you can't figure out where you need to go next? What's going on? Shall I just move it to over this side? No, you're all okay. You are just having a moment, wasn't you, game? You were just having a moment. So, yeah. What I could do then, because I know that is a... F what is this? Is it a full 20 going across? A full 30 going across? So I could do... Something like that. Mm, it doesn't look good, does it? Or I could have switched up the grid to be going in this direction for now. On that one side. Yeah, why not? I'd have a little bit of a dead section there, but, uh, you know, I can put in unique buildings and all that kind of jazz. Uh, in terms of power, then, do they do they connect yet? No, that's the only connection crossover at this point. So if I just run this up to there, to there, so I can kill off the power line cutting across just here. I know it's going to kill off that little section there, but this is solely so I can get in uh, the rest of my commercial. Just here. And we got a little bit of section just there to play around with, which I'm going to throw in. Do I do high density residential for the first time? In Lost Wages? We're going to. A couple of apartment buildings on the on the 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 edge of where the residential and the uh, casino section do start. That'll bring the uh, the power connecting over anyway. So we got a million in the bank right now. We're looking good. The bank balance is looking pretty healthy. How many people have we got over here? Look at 1,700. There's so many people at this train station right now, which does show us that I need to bulk up um, the trains, which we'll take a look at next episode. We'll kind of go through it all and get it all rocking and rolling. But in terms of now public transport, even though it's only one line down to lost wages, I'm feeling good. So we can now go on to focus on other little projects here and there while slowly expanding this place. Maybe one thing it could really, really utilize would be uh, getting the metro line set up. Because we have the metro stop just there. Just maybe kind of like doing something a bit different to kind of cut through both ends a bit quicker. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see what we can... We got the, uh, the, or, or even do bus routes. We don't have to have, add a metro in. But we got a bunch of options anyway that what we can pretty much do. But look how it's all slowly coming together with all the greenery right now. This place is looking pretty damn beautiful. If you ask me. Damn. So good. So good.
But yeah, guys, we're going to end it for here anyway. There's a lot of stuff we need to get done. Once we've built it up a bit more, then we'll start taking a look at all the little traffic issues we've got lying around. We'll incorporate this little kind of stream running down a bit more too. We'll utilize it. I've got to extend the industrial area as well. Or we'll potentially build like a secondary one. Because you're having... I mean, we got tons of money coming in. But it's probably more entertainment. Oh, that's another thing as well. The tours. How do I do the tours again? Was it from this? Look at that. Look at the tours that I could get set up within this area. Maybe not a skiing slope. <laughs> But like, you know, the hot air balloon tours, we've got the, the sightseeing buses, the walking tours. See, that will bring even more tourists to this area. Oh, yeah. I think on that note, guys, we are going to end it for here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash a like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye. <laughs>